If you like my videos, please click on the like button and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe for the new videos. Okay, so the next topic is soil pollution. First of all, any change in the physical, chemical and biological property of soil due to natural or anthropogenic activities is known as soil pollution. So if there is any kind of change on the soil which is affecting its properties like physical, chemical or biological properties then it can be considered as soil pollution. And the major soil pollutants are heavy metals, chemical waste, pesticides, fertilizers and agriculture products, lead, cadmium as well as radioactive waste. These are some of the sources or uh, natural sources of the soil pollution which includes earthquake, landslide, cyclone, floods, etc. Some of the man-made causes includes the industrial waste like toxic flammable and non-flammable non-biodegradable substances. Then there are mining activities which also produces large of pollutions and then urbanization. Also there are radio radioactive waste which is dumped on the ground so that is also one of the pollutant for the soil pollution. Then there are domestic waste and garbages which we are throwing on a daily basis. So these are some of the domestic waste and then finally agricultural waste. The That will be the uh, waste coming from the agriculture products. And what are the effects of soil pollution? It reduces the fertility of the soil. Secondly, it causes an increase in the number of mosquitoes and other insects, flies and other many things, which is, which is the major cause of any de many deadly diseases. This also reduces the aesthetic value of the land. Radioactive elements present in the polluted soil enters human bodies and causes a number of adverse effects on the health, like cancers, like bone problems with the bones and etc. Other things. So there are so many things like that. So how can we control the soil pollution or how can we uh, treat this soil pollution? Treatment of industrial waste before being disposed. First of all we need to uh, do the treatment of the industrial waste before letting them go into the soil. Secondly the garbage from the urban waste should be segregated into biodegradable as well as non-biodegradable waste products and all the non-biodegradable materials should be recycled or tried to be recycled and reused while biodegradable material can be used for making compost and other things. Planting of more and more trees should be encouraged. Then reduction in the amount of radioactive material should be used. Uh, it should be used less than less and reduction in the use of the chemical fertilizers as well as pesticides. Solid waste can also be used to generate the electricity. Thank you. For more study materials like learning materials, like MCQs, like other question answers and problems related to your coursework, please visit admirals.tk.